Good morning. This is a, a video in the continuing series we're doing on the Russian geometry pyramid research that's been carried on in Russia over the last 20 or so years. Uh, today's topic is Russian geometry pyramids and purification of contaminated water. We just did a uh, video earlier about uh, the ability of the pyramid uh, to reduce uh, dramatically uh, air pollution related um, uh, disease uh, through toxicity. And so we're going to look now at water pollution and um, see if the pyramid uh, can have similar impacts on clearing up contaminated and uh, radioactive uh, water. Uh, as you see up on the slide, the goal of the uh, study was to determine whether pyramids can purify well water contaminated with strontium, heavy metals, and salt. And in order to test this, uh, a series of pyramids uh, were built in, I hope I get this right, the Argangelsk region of Russia. Uh, the results in short verse, uh, strontium and heavy metals that had previously uh, contaminated a well in this region of Russia were able to be cleared out by the effects of the pyramid. And this well, which uh, had uh, previously had to uh, be abandoned uh, for use for public water consumption. The well water was now available for public use once again. And in another town in the region, a pyramid was constructed that uh, significantly reduced the amount of salt in the water as well. So significant uh, improvements again in, in the uh, quality of the water uh, that was seen uh, after uh, the uh, construction of pyramids in that region of Russia. And now on the next page, this is similar uh, research that I thought I'd throw in right now. Uh, Russian geometry pyramid creates new streams and regenerates extinct plant species. Uh, a Russian geometry pyramid harmonizes space within its radius of influence uh, this is something that Dr. Golad talks about at length. Uh, but specifically after construction of a pyramid in the area of Seliger Lake in Russia, new streams appeared in the area. Uh, a stork set up a nest in an area that had previously uh, not uh, had uh, any uh, wildlife of that type for, uh, for years. And most importantly, in nearby fields to the pyramid, previously extinct species of flowers began to uh, proliferate in the land. Now, I've had some of these same experiences on the property where I live. Uh, I've talked about some of these in previous videos, but we have a stream on our property that uh, prior to moving here, uh, was marked down by the uh, geologic survey as being an intermittent stream. Since I put two pyramids up in the uh, yard near that stream bed last year, uh, that stream has continued to run nonstop. So uh, this idea of uh, new streams being generated is totally corroborated by the experience that I've had. Uh, with respect to the um, uh, stork um, that uh, set up a nest, we actually saw a heron uh, in our yard, and I don't think uh, people around here have seen that in quite a while, but uh, there's a heron that w uh, visited our property about a month ago uh, and stayed for an hour or two next to the stream. And uh, so all of this is not necessarily foreign to me. I'm seeing it in my own experience, and it's nice to see that this is, uh, information is corroborated by other research from Russia. So here again, we have another example where we could be using pyramid technology to improve our environment and our personal health. And we're still behind the eight ball uh, in terms of doing research on uh, this significant geometry. Hopefully this series will begin to enlighten people as to the many potential uses of pyramids, and in this case, uh, remediation of uh, uh, problems with our uh, with our water supplies throughout the country. Hope this has been helpful. Again, ask your friends to uh, watch our uh, YouTube channel. 
Only PVC Pyramids. See our website, onlypvcpyramids.com. I thank you for watching and have a great day.